Hey everybody, welcome back to my layout. Today I'm going to do a layout update for June 2013. Be going over some of the. I've got a few new pieces of rolling stock and a few things I've been working on down here on the layout. I finally took my Intermountain ES44 AC upstairs and programmed it, gave it the proper road number 8701. And I also got rid of that uh, flashing ditch light feature for whatever reason Intermountain put them on CP unit. Uh, I changed that so they're just a standard, just on all the time, ditch lights that CP runs. So they don't flash anymore when you uh, sound the horn. I've got it hooked up to some new rolling stock that you would have seen in the last couple of HO videos, but uh, I'll show them here anyway. I got these this month. These are the new run after and uh, ready to run Gunderson 60 foot box cars, high cubes. So I got a couple of CP ones. These are those Procore optimizer cars. These are really nice. They're Walther's uh, Proto 2000. Brian at Overland Hobbies had a couple of those road numbers, so I got those as well as uh, the SADM Funnel Flow. It's also Walther's Proto 2000. So in the same order, I also got uh, the trailer train with the red logo, the red TTX logo you see there. I got two of those red logos, I got one black TTX trailer train, these are all after and uh, ready to run, as well as uh, CN's version of that. And the last car in that order I got was uh, one of these Atlas uh, coil cushion cars that I like so much, I didn't have one of these grey CN ones so I got that just thrown in with the order from Brian. So I haven't really got that much done down here on the uh, on the coal spur. I'm getting ready to do the terrain for the ground. It's going to use a, a butene torch to kind of maybe, maybe make this a little bit more, have some more topography to it. And then I'm going to use the ground cover that I've been kind of collecting from different places. You saw I had the, uh, the brown stuff I used over on the parking lot. This is gravel sifted from my backyard. And, and uh, put on the oven for an hour, for a half hour at 400 degrees just to get the moisture and the bugs and stuff out of it and uh, it makes really nice ground cover really cheap too it's free so I've got a couple different blends different colors this is uh, mile 17.8 on the CN Brazo sub just close to my house here so that's a nice dark kind of earthy color and then I've also got uh, a berm fill mix. This came from work. Just uh, took my sifter and sifted it out, same deal. Put it in the oven for a half hour at 400. And you've got uh, some really cheap and awesome looking ground cover. So these are spaghetti jars, so keep those glass ones. These are awesome to uh, just to store stuff in and whatever. Doing some uh, some cheap, low budget model railroad down here, guys. In my opinion, this stuff looks better, and I have fun going out and finding it and getting the different colors and stuff like that. I mean, I'm out there taking pictures of trains anyway, so might as well do something while I'm waiting for a train, right? So that's everything that's new down here guys in the last couple months. Uh, I haven't really got a lot done because it's summertime and life gets busy in the summer as you probably know and I, it's harder to get down here and do stuff so 
I got a few little things I've been working on up in the office, so let's go up there and take a look at the uh, coal tipple and a few other things I've been working on. This is one thing, uh, just kind of been playing around with this, but on uh, using just Microsoft Word, I was kind of toying the idea of renumbering my SD70i, so I was made some number boards for it. So I actually made the number boards so you could do any number of CNs SD70i's, and then I just printed it, made it four times so that it would just fill up a page. So there's one little thing that I was working on, just and again, there's something that's easy to do, just using Microsoft Word like most computers have it or whatever, so. I think the size is font 9, I think. I think it's 9, I can't remember. This is another little project that uh, I've been meaning to get to, but I just haven't had time yet. But these are uh, 603 sunny white LEDs. Uh, bought them off eBay from the LED bear in there. You can see the see the address there so I got a hundred of them I got a thousand 470 ohm resistors and a thousand 1000 ohm resistors so I can make you know around two of those or one 1000 ohm resistor a roll of magnet wire for the leads so everything you see here all this stuff seventy dollars so if I can do it if I can solder them, that's the only thing. If I'm able to solder these, I'll be able to make them for less than 80 cents each, which is a lot better than paying three bucks or four bucks from uh, all rich models. So, Al Mayo, you've probably seen his videos on YouTube. He was kind of the inspiration for that, and I just thought to myself, like, if Al can do it and show us how, I mean, I'm going to make my own as well because there's lots of locomotives I have that have the old bulbs, and I need lots of these 603 uh, surface mounts to do the ditch lights and stuff. So. Hopefully uh, I'll, be, I'll be able to solder these and just start pumping these things out like crazy. So and you guys have kind of, if you've watched the last couple updates, you saw the coal tipple uh, for Obed, Alberta, Obed Mountain Coal that I've been working on. So I've got a couple of the sides done now, the siding, the evergreen styrene, and it looks pretty, it's coming along nicely. You're probably wondering why there is tin foil on the inside. I'll show you. This stuff from Evergreen is transparent. And you can see it with light. You can see all the supports and everything, so that sucks. So I just uh, took household tin foil because it's opaque and just covered the, uh, the back on the inside there. And then you get no light shining through and you can't see the supports. So I'll do that for both of these sides as well. Cover them with tin foil and then you get don't get the light shining through there. So that's where I'm at with that project guys. Uh, this will probably be the last update for summer just because I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, I'm going out to the East Coast. Me and my fiance are getting married out there so actually one awesome thing that's coming up is uh, taking the Via taking Via Rail all the way to Miramichi from Edmonton, Alberta. So it's going to be like cross Canada, six day trip. Uh, I got a new camera, so I'm going to be taking like tons of pictures, tons of videos. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, as well, you guys probably know about the flooding that's been going on in Alberta, and I appreciate all the, uh, the comments you guys have been leaving about just, you know, make, saying good luck and hopefully we're all right and everything. But uh, we're here in Red Deer and it's where we live it's not really a risk so everything's okay at my place but there is a lot of people that are uh, that are underwater in Calgary and even downtown Red Deer has been bad so appreciate your thoughts guys that's that's nice of you hopefully uh, we get a little bit of a break from the rain it allows things to dry up a bit and so people can go back to their homes as always thanks for watching guys